Hey everyone, this is Gina from fitnessista.com and today I'm going to be leading you through a bar strength workout using dumbbells. So for this one, all you need is a pair of light dumbbells that can be anywhere from one to five pounds. You can always switch these out. You can always ditch them. If they get too heavy, but it's gonna be a really great way to get in an awesome total body workout in 25 minutes. So grab those weights and let's get started. All right, friends, so go ahead and start off with those weights. We're gonna take a nice wide second position right here with your toes turned out, chest lifted, core is tight. We're gonna sink it down to that plie squat and we're gonna lift those weights all the way up our overhead. So you're gonna go down, lift, down, and lift. So we're just warming up right here. I want you to take nice big inhales, nice big exhales on the way up. Tiny bend in those elbows. And as we rise, I want you to think about squeezing those legs together. So really activate, wake up those inner thighs, down and squeeze. Good, try to get those thighs as close to parallel to the floor as you can. Here's four, three, go two. Now hold that low plie squat, arms come to 90 degrees, press them up overhead. Good, so you've got a little overhead press right here. Core is pulled in. Good, nice deep breaths. Sink those hips a little bit lower. Breathe. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, hold it low. You're gonna squeeze those weights in together. Rise on up from that squat. So you're gonna open, close. Open and close. So really squeezing that chest. Keep those shoulders pulled down. You're doing amazing. Core is still nice and active. Legs squeeze in. Let's do four more right here. There's three. Go two. Now hold it low, arms come in. Little pulses of the legs and of the arms. Just a little tiny punch to the ceiling. Great job, sink those hips lower. You're doing awesome, awesome. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come on up, keep those arms right where they are. Heel toe those feet right underneath your hips. Tiny bend, and we're just gonna switch sides. So alternating your right side and left side. Elbows stay out, extended from those shoulders. Nice straighten, and then a 90 degree bend. Good, you have two more things right here, then we get a break. Fight through it. Mine are burning already too. <laughs> Here's four, there's three, go two, and one, you're gonna glue those weights together, just tap those elbows towards each other right here. Good, breathe, lift that belly button up and back. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, pulse to finish, little lifts right here, lifts right here, two inch movements. Great job, keep it going, tiny and strong. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Warm up those shoulders, roll those shoulders back. We're gonna hinge forward from our hips. You're gonna take it into a wide row as you come into a normal squat. So feet right underneath those hips, and then you're gonna extend it straight out in front of you. So you row it in, big press out, down and lift. So as those weights come back, I want you to think about really squeezing your lats. So it's like if there was a pencil between your shoulder blades, squeeze the pencil, or a lot of people say squeeze a lemon in between your shoulder blades. Good, nice active lats, keep those shoulders down. There we go. Let's do four more, just like this. Here's four, there's three, two. Now hold your lowest point, little squat pulses right here. Squat and pulse, squeezing those weights back and in. Eight to go, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, rise on up. We're gonna hinge forward from our hips. You're gonna row and then extend it back to a tricep extension. In, lower down. Squeeze in, extend, in, lower down. So once you have the hang of it, I want you to keep your gaze down towards the floor. Protect that neck. Keep your spine really straight and long. And keep that core really active. So core is pulled up and in. 
protecting that low back. And as those weights come up, I want you to get them as high as you can. So think about really lifting and squeezing those triceps. Let's do three more just like that. There we go. Three. Here's two. One more. Hold it high. Little lifts right here. Extend and lift. Extend and lift. Keep that core lifted. Eight to go. And then we hold to finish out this set. You've got it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Static hold. Just hold it up there. Maybe rotate your palms towards the ceiling. Lift and squeeze. One more inch. You have 10 seconds. You've got it. Lift and squeeze. Here's five, four, three, two, and release it. Great job. Go ahead and come on up. We're going to take it into a lateral lunge with that right leg. So you're going to take a nice big step out, sink those hips low, and as you come up, bicep curl. So you're going to lateral lunge, bicep curl. Option to take that knee balance if you want it. If you don't like it, you don't have to take it. So you can always just keep that foot tapped onto the ground. You can move more slowly than me. Take your time, make these as safe, as efficient as you can. But on those bicep curls, these weights are pretty light for those. So I want you to think about really squeezing those biceps. Nice and active. Full flexion, full extension at the bottom. There we go, let's do four more right here. Here's four. There's three. Two. And then we're gonna hold it right here. Option to keep that balance challenge or tap that foot to the floor. Your choice, whichever one you choose, make sure you're breathing. Big exhales, those weights come up. And keeping the core pulled up and in. Here's five, there's four, super strong. Three, two, hold it 90 degrees. Little lifts right here. Tiny bicep squeezes. Great job challenging your balance. Bonus core workout and getting into those biceps. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it all the way down. Let's go ahead and switch sides. We're gonna take it into that lateral lunge on the left this time. Nice big step, sink those hips down and back. Back through center, option to take that knee lift, but we're gonna take an upright row this time. So lead with those elbows. Weights are gonna stop at mid chest. So sink it lateral lunge, you lift, you can wobble like me, and squeeze all the way up. There we go, friends. So you can move as slowly as you need to. But as you step out, I want you to think about sitting those hips down and back, and then lift as you exhale, squeezing up and in. Great job. Let's do six more right here. Maybe try that balance challenge. There we go, here's four. There's three. Good. Nice form, two. Last one, you can hold that knee up if you would like. Little upright rows right here. Tiny bend in that standing leg. Little lift and lift. Lift, so about a two inch movement right here. Lifting from the elbows, shoulders are still relaxed. Awesome, firing into those shoulders one more time. Here's eight, seven, six, Five, here's four, three, two, and release it. So we're gonna take a nice wide plie squat. Arms are gonna open, sink it into that squat, and you're gonna squeeze through center just with that left leg to start. Down and lift. So just getting that heart rate up a little bit, getting into that chest. I want you to think about really squeezing your chest on the way in and really zipping those legs together on the way up. Nice, smooth breaths. Keep a little bend in your elbows. Sink those hips down and low. Here's four, three, go two, and come back through center. Step it out to that plie squat. 
You're gonna touch the floor, press it overhead, and lift. So you can move as quickly as you would like, making sure to press those weights all the way up through the ceiling. Good, so option, you can stay right here. Maybe you wanna ditch those weights. Maybe you wanna add a little hop, get that heart rate up. Your choice. Whatever you're going for, let's go, 20 seconds. Fire it up, friends. Breathe and lift. There we go. You're doing awesome. How high can you get? How low can you get? Here's 10. Go, go. Here's five, three, two, and release it. Pick up those weights. We're gonna take that plie squat on the right side this time. So you're gonna step out, weights are gonna come in front of you, and then you're gonna open, elbows are wide. So last time we did a fly, this time we're going chest press. Change it up a little bit. Breathe in, push, squeeze. Keeping those shoulders pulled down, and same thing, I want you to think about zipping your legs together. Zip and squeeze. There we go. Hopefully your heart rate is up there, and mine definitely is. You're doing awesome, awesome. Let's do five more. Here's four, three, sink it low, two, and lower it to that plie squat. Little front raises right here. Left and lower. Good. Maybe sink those hips. One more inch. Two more inches. You've got it, friends. Here's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Rise from that squat. Weights come up. Little lifts right here. So like you're doing the little lift the bucket. Lift and lift, two inches. Here's eight, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Shake it out, grab a little bit of water if you need to. We'll also head to our chair, sturdy piece of furniture, whatever you're gonna use for your bar. So I have my handy bar right here. I'm gonna use a chair. Make sure you're using something sturdy like a countertop something you can hold on to for balance. We're gonna start in first position. So you're gonna glue those heels together. Come on up onto your toes, highest point, and then glue your heels back together. We're gonna sink it down low. So as you sink down, make sure that booty is not sticking out. Keep everything pulled in, ears, shoulders, hips, and ankles all in one straight line. So really work on having some nice posture right here. We have our weight in our left hand. We're just gonna start off with our weight on our hip. Sink those hips really low. Little pulses right here, pulse and pulse. Good job, so just getting the feel for it. My legs are shaking a little bit already. Hopefully yours are too. Your goal is to keep those heels as high as you can and that booty as low as you can. Great job, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it low. You're gonna extend that left arm out in front of you, weight or no weight. You're gonna step that left foot forward, weight comes up, and then back through center. So step forward, bring it in. Forward and bring it in. So your goal is to have a nice weight shift right here. So you're actually stepping forward, weight goes forward a little bit, and then zipping everything back up to center. There you go. Keep those shoulders down. Nice big reach at the top. And like I said before, you can always ditch those weights if you need to. Let's do four more. Four. Here's three. Go two. And then sink it low. You're gonna open to the side and close it back together as that left knee flares. So you flare together. Flare together. So you are working Oh my gosh, your entire body right now. Got your chest going, your shoulder going, your core is tight, outer thigh, inner thigh, booty. Got the whole package right here, friends. This one little move. So I really want you to exhale, pull everything apart, 
Keep that little bend in the elbow. There we go. Here's four. There's three. Go two. Now hold it out there. You're going to pulse to finish right here. Pulse to finish. Good. Get that weight up as high as you can. Eight to go right here. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Woo! Let's switch it to the other side. So same thing. You're going to start in that first position. Glue your heels together. Rise on up. Heels zip back together. Weight to our hip. Find that nice low squat. Tuck the hip straight underneath your body. So everything is nice and straight, nice and tall. And we're just going to pulse right here. Start the party off with these pulses. Good. So you're working from that lowest point. It's about a two inch movement, really tiny. And I want you to peel your heels up as high as you can. So your highest pair of high heels right now. Nice low hips. Eight to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it low. You're going to step that right foot forward this time. Weight will go up overhead and then back through center. Step forward and back. So that standing leg, that stabilizing leg is still nice and bent. Your hips are still low. Your goal is to do this movement without a lot of up and down. So you are low the whole time. You're just stepping it forward. There we go. Let's do eight more right here. Breathe. Here's six, sink it down there. Heels are still lifted, go four. Here's three, two. Come back to that first, knees are wide. You're gonna open, leg will flare, and you close. Open, close. Outer thigh, inner thigh, booty. Chest, shoulders, core. You got it, calves from keeping those heels lifted. Exhale as you open that weight. There we go. Here's six, you only have pulses to finish. Five, you got this. Here's four, three, two, and hold it out there. Little pulse, pulse, pulse. Arm stays open. Tiny bend in the elbow. Eight to go, here's eight, seven. Finish strong, friends, you got it. Here's four, three, two, and release it. Oh, give it a nice shake. Grab a mat, we'll head down to the floor. All right, so we're gonna take it into our push-up and plank series. You're just gonna need one weight for this. But I'm gonna have it just in front of me. I'm not going to actually do my push-up on the weight. You're gonna do this on knees or toes. We're gonna come into your push-up. You're gonna grab that weight, and you're gonna open it up to the side. So weight comes down, you push up. So we're only doing our right side right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Join me when you're ready. You can do these on your toes if you would like. My push-ups are not as nice on my toes. It feels better for me on my knees. So you go wherever you need to go. I'm gonna be on my knees right here though, so I can get down a little bit farther and really squeeze my chest. Good, keep it going. Move a little bit because my couch is in the way. And lift and squeeze. Let's do 15 more seconds. Try to do three more. Good job. Here's two. And our last one. You're going to come into your side plank or your modified side plank. Grab that weight. You're going to thread under, extend and lift. Thread it under, extend and lift. So you can keep both legs out right here. Your choice. If you have any abdominal separation or if you're pregnant, I absolutely recommend modifying those side planks. Good. Exhale as you lift and squeeze. Here's four, three, go two, and release it down. So we're going to come onto our backs right here. I'm going to grab some heavier weights for these. But we're going to take into some hip raises. So you're going to press those hips up towards the ceiling. Option to press your weights into a chest press, and then we're going to lower down. So you lift, lower, lift, and lower. So I really want you to think about 
squeezing your booty all the way up, keeping that core pulled in really tight, and then squeezing your chest if you're using those weights. So a nice big squeeze and lift. Here's six, five, four, three, two, hold it high, hips will pulse right here, little lifts and lifts. So your goal is to work from a two inch movement and think about pressing those hip bones up into the ceiling. Lift and squeeze. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna take it all the way down. All the way down, you lift, then you flare your knees, you close. Down, lift, flare, close. I like to do these on my heels just to activate those glutes a little bit more. So if you wanna feel those toes off the floor, just an extra option. Nice isometric hold for the chest right here. Let's do three more. Here's two. And we're gonna hold it high, just flare your knees. Flare and flare, flare. So pressing those hips up as high as you can. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release it. Heading into our push-up series on the other side. Left arm this time, weight is in front of you. Come into that push-up, grab that weight, you side plank, extend it overhead. So you're gonna go down and you lift. Good, so same thing right here. You can do these on knees or toes, but your goal is just to get your chest as low as you can and then really squeeze all the way up. Looking good, friends, keep it going. We're almost there, finish line is in sight. So strong, let's do three more right here. Here's three. Big squeeze, here's two. And your last one. Hold that side plank, lift it up there. You're gonna rotate, lift to the sky. Option to come onto those toes, wherever you need to go. Good, big deep breaths. Here's four, three, two, and release it back onto our backs. Grab those weight. weights, our last set of our hip raises right here. So just like before, hips will press up towards the ceiling. Option this time to take a chest fly as you lower the hips down. So it's like you're giving someone a nice hug. Good, and squeeze up. Pressing those hips up as high as you can. Keep the core pulled up and in. Here's four, three, two, and hold it up there. You're gonna extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. Little hip lifts right here. Good, two inch movement, point your toe. Eight to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch sides. Left leg will come high, point your toe. Little lifts right here. Lift and lift. Good, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and lower it down. Woo, we made it, friends. Ah, oh, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe make some body circles. We'll release, go the opposite side. Just get some of that tension out of your low back. And then carefully, slowly rock and roll your way up to a seated position. Comfortable seat, nice big inhale, reach up overhead. Exhale, hands meet in the center. Give yourself a clap. Thanks so much for working out with me. Got lots of workouts on my channel. I'll also link to my bar boot camp. If you want some workout videos, you can follow along from home along with a plan. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Take care guys, bye.